in Pisces part two. I don't know what it is with your sign, but you guys are very into work and never in your heart. You want your heart fulfilled, but you, you never give it a chance. Um, so we finished off that you walked away from a cup that was burning. You walked away without thinking twice. You left someone out in the cold. You swore you want and you know what you want, but you didn't even have enough nerve to tell them you were leaving. Like, how do you want that for your children? Like, we leave legacies that have so much greater response later on in our life that we don't do the work now. So instead of telling this person the truth, you had their heart in your hand. You went off on a journey after you being the wounded warrior and getting stuck out in the cold to doing the same damn thing to somebody else. And you do it all the time. I mean, look. You're going right towards your emotions, walking away from the burning cup. Like, really? Like, who does that? So that landed on your new journey. The abundance, is it coming in? Victory is coming in for this person because what happens is the reverse effect. We let them go and then when we can't have them, we want them back. Moving in, fast energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? You went after something. You went after it. On the Wounded Warrior, communication, decisions that need to be made, many, many choices. Which one will you choose? You went after something that you thought you could have and you walked away from a fire sign. The fire sign was your only match, your wish fulfillment. Brewing something up. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Be careful. You pick the devil is what you did. You picked, again, the same vicious cycle, closing it out and thinking that this person was better than the other people, but you don't stop to really look at what you want or deserve. Toxic energy. Yep, the devil. Capricorn energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yep. You took the money and you give them the goodies. And guess what they're going to do? Take your money and take your goodies. Yeah. Two of swords right down the eye. Don't see this coming. Karma. Bullseye. Cancer. Be careful. Be careful with who you give your heart to. You keep repeating the cycle because you don't want to do the work. You want the other person to do the work. And when you find someone who comes to you whole and together... You don't want it because you want to fix somebody. So what I would suggest here in this is cancer needs to really work on what they want. They need to really stop hurting people and really take a good hard look at your life. This person is single. You left this person out in the cold and they're just abundant. They moved on. Don't care. Not looking back. They don't chase after anyone and you're not used to that. They like the finer things in life, but they live simple, less complicated offer offer from the fire sign went up in smoke you walked away from it i don't know what you're going to need to get it back if that's the one you're choosing now you're going to have to put the work in so, deep in the night you just roll it out spirit actually removed you from their life because they've done the work and peace is part of their plan you had too many secrets to hide they manifested a new beginning and moved on and you have a new beginning again in the vicious cycle. Worry, illness, learning how to cut things out that no longer serve you. I don't know, but you were left out in the cold now. I'm not sure this can be recanted. You are the king of cops. You're the one that makes money. You're abundant, safety, and security. But you still play games. There's fish here, abundant. They were behind you the whole entire time. You left them in the dust. You checking them out on social media? The king normally doesn't bow down to the queen, even though the queen is more powerful in checkmate. But now you're in hangman. And guess what happened? Dun, 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 dun. Tower moment. You didn't think you caught feelings. And you did. And what happened was insecurity set in. All these options, but yet the one that's standing there holding it in their hands, willing to give it to you unconditionally, still don't know if you want it. What's going to happen here? What is going to happen with the little story about cancer who can't make up its mind? Because cancer normally spreads, right? And in order to get cancer stopped and to stop the spread, you got to do the work. Everything in life happens for a reason. My crab, what's going on? Worth waiting for. You rushed again. Divine timing is at work in your love life. They remove the Aries from your life on purpose. For the wedding. You weren't ready for them. They did the work. It really sucks though about divine timing. You as a female can do all the work. And when your masculine comes in. They're not ready for you. That sucks. 
vice versa when the man does the work and the woman is not in the right place but you have to be completely in the right frame of mind cancer you're really wondering what they're doing there's passion who lets passion go allow your heart and the soul to sing joy attraction yeah there's attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully it scared you they made you think they made you be still you didn't want to open up now you think about them don't you by your religious upbringing and spiritual path spirit removed them from your life they came from out of nowhere and you're still saying to yourself what happened it was unrequainted love you've known each other for many lifetimes there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going shame on you because when you really look at the end of your life it's your soul it's your soul that recognizes someone it's not always your heart or if they're cute enough or tall enough or what they're looking for or you're looking for. It's when spirit makes you look outside your comfort zone to call the right person in. It's a good thing sometimes our prayers are unanswered, right? Because spirit knows what we need more than what we know we need. So, oh, yeah, you picked the wrong person. False person. Communication. You met them in August. In eight days, you're going to realize what a awful person they were wearing a false mask the main male number one new beginning had this earlier with another reading in the family room partnership and new beginning you're gonna wind up moving in with this person toils and labor you're gonna look back on all the hard work you did and you know, maybe you'll miss out on this. You're missing the boat here. 11, your twin flame. There's a marriage coming. After the courtship. Thinking about them. And you're wondering, is the path still open? Well, you're going to make that call. You have 3 and 5 is 8. 8 and 8 is 16. To 16 but four twice is eight that's two that's partnership we have 11 and we have three i have three 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 and i have eight 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 three is partnership collaboration the father the son and holy spirit is godly divining this organization together and eight is communication you've painted a picture in your head of what you wanted them to look like and maybe they didn't but this is someone that you're going to recognize if you see the picture the same person they're coming back into your life and this redhead dangerous walk away run as fast as you can this person is not good for you the person you chose which is a karma coming in to teach you a lesson get rid of them fast they're going to cause complications with your children rebel drink a smoothie unfriend that asshole and throw some shit out Someone's coming in with bad energy. Not good around your kids. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. If you had something to say to the person that you overlooked, what would you say to the person that you walked away from? Cancer, what would you say to the person that you walked away from? Spirits, Raphael, Michael, Angel, Jaffiel, Rizel, Ezekiel. Which one would you say to the person you left behind? You were never mediocre because you made them feel like shit when you left. There's nothing I can say that will ever take away the pain, and I am very sorry for hurting you. Well, sometimes we learn life lessons. 9-11, that was. Emergency call, 9-1-1, right? They're going to be a person you call. They want you to know I am with you all the way, now and forever. So, I mean, there is an opportunity for this relationship to get back together. When you let someone go and they came back, it was godly divined. So... If you go back to them, maybe they'll be waiting. Anything else, Spirit? Let's just get down to the heart of the matter, even if you don't love me anymore. And they want to know, do you still love them? I don't know, Spirit. I'm going to pull a moon card, which I haven't had to pull a moon card all day, but 
in order for this union to come into play. Let's see when it's going to happen since we have the Bieber Spirit, what's coming in next. Changing the course again, moving into the 11th house. What do you need to release? The warning moon. Yep. The moon came up a couple times here. What do you need to release, Cancer? What do you need to release from your life for wish fulfillment? And let's pick one oracle card to finish out your December reading. What does Cancer need to work on this month? My throat is going, so you need to work on your throat chakra. Your communication sucks. Cancers are awful at communicating. They use their claws and they, you know, get in there any way they can without flinging it out. Come on, Cancer. What do you got for me here? Spirit, what do you got for me? Hold on. Let's get it all together here. Spirit, what do you got? Cancer, what do you got for me? Cancer. All right. The magical map shaped. Okay. Blindfolded. All these decisions, like the seven of pentacles, heart is at the center of this all. Magical, fairies, compass, direction, five uncertainty with a partnership, still debating what to do. Do I move forward or do I not say anything at all? Do I let them go or do I keep them in my pocket? Do I let them manifest and their blessings go or do I take them back? Do I ask for forgiveness? I don't know. This person can't sleep at night. Magical map shifter, spirit. Everyone's destiny. Oh, orchestrate, sorry. When the magical map shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth. Perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best you that you can be or someone who leads you out of difficulty into a place of safety or success. Pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today and cause you to reflect on your journey, Cancer. Be awake and aware and you'll recognize them from the important change agents they are. Your whole perspective about who you are and why you're here will shift. The magical map shifter always initiates when you into a better version of yourself, especially when you're a diamond. And this person, your life partner, 1212, you called in as your twin flame, was here to make a difference in your life and you walked away, that's the choice of free will. That's when you have to do the cycle all over again. That's when you have to, you do you and feel the loss of them. You must detox now. It's a shame, Cancer. It's a shame that your insecurities about your past still haunt you. You need to work on that. I wish you a happy holidays, you know, staying in your lane, protecting your kids, doing your thing. But life is about love. It's loving your neighbor as you love yourself. You can love people you work with and you can have love for them. But when you just throw somebody off to the curb without even explaining to them what their purpose is in your life and you use them, karma does come back to get us. And unfortunately, I don't believe in giving anyone karma, but we do it to ourselves. I've done it to me. Other people have done it to themselves. It's part of history, right? Follow your journey and path, but this redhead that you're entertaining, and if they're specific about it, is not good. They're toxic for you. You need to walk away. Well, have a happy holidays. This is my last reading for December. Um, wishing you all the joy and happiness. Cancer, please. The cycle is going to continue. Be careful. 1331, who you bring in your life and your children's lives. And wish you all the love and luck in your life. Namaste. Outdoor Healing 1111. If it wasn't for you guys watching, I wouldn't have a channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a happy new year. And um, yeah, like, share, and subscribe. If it doesn't work for you, maybe it'll fit for someone else. Whoever's watching the Cross Watcher might resonate for you more. And free will is a choice. It's been a long year and we're winding down. Just a couple more weeks, but don't give up. Because the work you do in this life gets you to a better life. Namaste.